The aim of this presentation is to outline the options process that you, your child is about to go through. The option process is a really important part of your child's educational journey as this is the time where they will select the choices and subjects that they will study at Key Stage 4. Firstly, I would like to start by outlining the timeline for the option process and the events that are going to happen in the next few weeks that have been carefully designed to ensure that your child has access to all the information as well as giving you the opportunity to support them through this process. This will help them to get to be able to make the right decisions for them. So the process started on CARD today which occurred last week. This allowed students to get the opportunity to sample a number of different subjects that they have not experienced before such as business, economics and sociology. They also had the opportunity on the day to identify different types of career paths that might exist within a STEM or creative arts route. They also had the opportunity to uh, speak to a wide range of industry experts and to get a sense of what their jobs and their roles were to help them to start making a decision about where they might see themselves in the future. This is followed by a number of weeks where we are working with students in their tutor time to support them start thinking about their careers and having those wider discussions. This is followed by our events, which is launching today to parents to give you the information that you need to help you to support your child through this process. That will continue all the way up to parents evening, which is on the 27th of February, where it will give you an opportunity to speak to your child's teachers to get a sense about what their strengths are and how you might be able to support them by completing this options form and move the deadline on the 5th of March. At Haggerston, we run a routes model with students on different routes, all designed to best support them and so that every student can get the very best outcomes so that they can achieve their aspirations. There are three routes, the baccalaureate route, the science specialism route and the Haggerston route. They are slightly different based on the amount of GCSEs that the student will eventually end up attaining. So the first route, the baccalaureate route, this is the route that the vast majority of students will end up on. The way students are selected for this route is that they do not require additional support in areas such as English or maths, as identified by those specialists, and they haven't been identified by the science team as students who have shown they would perform better on triple science. But they do have a vast array of subjects that they will study that I will go through now. On the baccalaureate route, students will study the following compulsory subjects, English language, English literature, combined science, which means that it's worth two GCSEs in science, maths, history, geography, or Spanish. As well as this, students will have the ability to select two additional subjects of their choice. We are very fortunate that we're able to offer additional subjects that students will not have experienced up to this point, such as GCSE economics, GCSE business studies, and GCSE sociology. This route will support students who are aiming to go to a Brussels Group University as the breadth of academic study is a strong preparation for A-levels and beyond. The next route that students can follow is the Science Specialism route. This is for students who have shown a really strong aptitude for science and instead of the like of the baccalaureate route of two GCSEs in science, they will end up with three and in total study 10 GCSEs. Their compulsory subjects will look slightly different. They will end up studying biology, chemistry and physics separately, English language, English literature, maths, history, geography or Spanish, just like the baccalaureate route. They will also get the opportunity to study two additional subjects from the list that are shown here in the very same way as the baccalaureate route. The last route is the Haggerston route. This is the route that is designed for students that require extra support with their English and maths. Students studying this route will either, depending on the level of support needed, have seven or eight GCSEs and then be given a more flexible option in which to continue their studies. Each student will have an individual bespoke program for them to follow that best meets their needs. This option may include additional English or maths 
that students may receive. Students who are selected onto this route are selected by key staff and we will inform parents directly of this. Parents cannot select this route themselves as this is a designed route for students who require this particular level and type of support. On the Haggerston route, students will be able to select the following compulsory subjects. English, Combined Science, Maths, History, Geography or Spanish. As well as this, students will also have the freedom to select a variety of additional option subjects as shown here. Today you will receive our options book. This alongside the subject videos that are being released this evening are designed to give you all the information about the different subjects that are available to you. The videos and the booklet will go through how the courses are assessed, what careers link to them and the topics students will learn. The videos will give you an insight into the different subjects and what content they will cover. This is something I implore you to go through and to look at the different subjects when making your choice with your child and supporting them through this process. Over the coming days, you will receive an options form from me. You'll be asked to select a first, second and reserve choice from the option subjects. You will also be asked about whether your child would like to study history, geography or Spanish. These forms need to be completed by the 5th of March to ensure we can allocate students to the right courses. We aim to meet the majority of students' first and second choices, but sometimes due to the popularity of the subject and timetable constraints, we are un unable to do that. So it's really important that your child really thinks about carefully their reserve choice. Some important things to know. Once you've selected your choices, your child will study these subjects for two years, year 10 and year 11. It's important that you think about your choices and what is best for your child, as they won't be able to change their options in September. If you're unsure about a course, please speak to your child's subject teachers at parents' evening on the 27th of February, as this is an ideal time to do so. We encourage all students to avail of a careers advisor appointment that will be available to them in the coming weeks. We also implore you to watch all the subject videos to get an idea of what the course is about, so to help you to make an informed choice for your child. It's important to know that your child can get support from their head of year, Ms. Yemeni, their assistant head of year, Ms. McNamara, myself, Mr. McArdle, their careers advisor appointments and their tutors and they should use these as a source of information and support. Hopefully this video addresses any questions you may have. However, if you do have any questions and I have not provided the information on a particular area that you would like to explore, please complete the option process questionnaire that will be shared with you via letter next week. Once I've received all the questions, I will collate them together into a frequently asked questions document to share with all parents. Thank you very much for your attention this afternoon. I hope you found this information useful and I wish you and your child the best of luck in selecting their GCSE options. Thank you.